Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Thursday. Happy Vlogtober day 10. I just made him some scrambled eggs and then I warmed up some sausage. And then I'm gonna cut his strawberry. So today's breakfast is eggs, sausage, and strawberry. Here is his breakfast. Let's make some coffee. I'm gonna use this mug today. I just brewed a full pot, so we're having hot coffee today. And I don't put, I only put it like, like that. I don't put like too much. And you guys already know, nothing new over here. A tablespoon of this chocolate syrup and then sugar-free or the zero sugar, coconut cream, creamer. All right, guys, that's our coffee for today. Hot coffee. It's lunchtime, and I know what I want. I'm gonna have my kimbap from Trader Joe's. We bought three of these because we all really like, like this. Well, AJ doesn't, but we each have one, me, Alfredo, and Vanessa. Korean tofu and vegetable seaweed rice roll. So this is vegetarian, it doesn't have any meat. You just have to cut the corner and then heat on high for two minutes. Let stand for one minute. Okay, we'll be back. I think it's still cold actually, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna warm it up for another minute. It's still kind of cold, maybe 30 seconds. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't think I was recording any of this, you guys. <laughs> we're, we're cooking dinner. I definitely did not hit the record button. Okay, so we're having Brussels sprouts. I already prepared the sprouts, the Brussels. I just cut off the end and then cut them in half and then I drizzled olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm keeping the seasonings simple for the Brussels sprouts because I'm gonna make a sauce later that we're gonna drizzle over that. And we're gonna cook that in the air fryer. And then for these pork chops, we're gonna cook in the oven. I'm just seasoning with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and Italian seasoning. You can use whatever you like. I also think I was supposed to put olive oil on here first. Where's my Italian? Okay, here. We're gonna make this sauce. I found it, I found this recipe online. So we're using soy sauce, honey, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, sriracha, fresh ginger, and garlic. Actually, my ginger is frozen, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, ginger powder. If I can find my ginger. Here, ground ginger, we'll use that. In here I have two cloves of minced garlic. And then it says three tablespoons of soy sauce. My tablespoon's actually somewhere in the sink, so I'm just gonna use my half tablespoon measuring spoon. One, two, three, four, five, we need more soy sauce. Add that to the grocery list. One and a fifth tablespoon of honey. Why is that like so specific with the one fifth? <laughs> Thank you. 
That should be good. Okay, and then a teaspoon of sesame oil. A teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. And then you know what? I forgot to buy sriracha, so I'm gonna use this. This is like the closest thing we have, which is sriracha chili. If you guys have never tried this, it's very similar to the chili sauce from Panda Express. I really like this a lot. So we're just gonna do half a teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna add in some of the ginger. Give that a good mixity mix. Give it a try and see if you wanna make any adjustments. Look at the char. The Brussels sprouts smell so good. That is so good. I also made Nor pasta sides. This one is um, cheddar broccoli because I feel like the kids are gonna want like a carb. You know, I didn't cook rice, so we have that. And then we also have the leftover from the other day, the other pasta side that I made. We have a little bit of a little bit left of that, so I'm gonna warm it up. It's the pasta and rice chicken. Something like that. So, yeah. I'm warming that up right now. I just took the pork chops out of the oven. I cooked it at 400 degrees for 20... How long did I leave it in there? 27 minutes? I set it for 30, but then I was like, maybe I should stop at 27, but then I like missed it. So it stayed in there for 27 minutes. Should be fine. And then here's everything else. This is the cheddar broccoli pasta, this is the pasta rice, and then the Brussels sprouts and the sauce. And that is our dinner for tonight. This was the leftover I was telling you guys about, so, you know, people can choose which side they want.